Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing the uh, main card of UFC 177 right now with Nick Kalikas from MMAOddsBreaker.com. He's a professional MMA odds maker and consults for numerous sports books. And also uh, joining us over the phone, also from MMAOddsBreaker.com, is MMA analyst Brad Taschuk. All right, guys. Beth Kohea and, and Shayna Baszler. And uh, right now, Kohea is a favorite. Minus 140. Baszler on the other side is plus 120. Those are the current lines at five dimes. And uh, I'll tell you what, based on my analysis of this fight, I'm thinking that Baszler should be the favorite, if not maybe a pretty substantial favorite. I mean, Kohea hasn't really fought uh, anyone. I'm not exactly sure that she's fought anyone um, with anywhere near the talent of, of, of Baszler. And... Um, I'm just not sure why Kohei is the favorite. So when I see the you know a, a, a fight like this where the, the wrong side is favored, my first thought is, what am I not seeing, uh, Nick Kalikas? What am I not seeing here? Well, the public, man. I mean, it's I completely agree with you. Surprising. I mean, you, you just called yourself your average show, but that's definitely I think a sharp opinion right away. No, no, Baszler, no, 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 no. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah definitely because Baszler, uh, I th I think, can arguably be the favorite in this fight. But again. <laughs> It's the betters out there. The general um, public believes that Gohea, she's been on a roll. She's looked pretty good in the UFC so far. Um, she's beaten some decent competition. I mean, now looking back at her last win over uh, Jasmine Duke, though, is not as impressive for sure. And Baszler has been at the top of the sport for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I know that, uh, I mean, even on the Ultimate Fighter, she lost on there, which was kind of a surprise and an upset to many. But Baszler's such a well-rounded fighter that this is by far the best fighter that uh, Gohea's ever faced. Mm -hmm. And she's a little bit more well-rounded as well. Well, so it's going to be really the kind of fight it turns out to be. Can Kohea push the pace without getting caught in anything? Because Baszler, I think, is a little bit more talented on the feet, even though Kohea was going to be coming forward and pressuring her a little bit more. But Baszler also has better grappling ability. She's, I think, has better wrestling overall. So she's the better, more complete fighter, no doubt. Yeah, all right. But I mean, usually when you see a fight where there's, you know, someone who's favored who maybe shouldn't be, it's usually a result of like it's a high profile fight with a lot of hype surrounding that fighter. Uh, is Beth Kohea really the, you know, the, uh, a fighter with that kind of with so much hype that it would be enough to make her a false favorite well it actually got bet up even higher i mean really? it, it's coming back down now yeah the original line like i said i opened it around 160 it climbed up a little bit now the support coming back in on baszler so yeah there's a lot of people out there that believe that kohea is legit and she's eventually going to probably challenge uh rousey for that title I don't know. I think, I mean, I'm a fan of Kohea as well. She made me some money in the past, but at the same time, I just, she has a long way to go. I think she's still a developing fighter, um, and she's got a lot of work ahead of her to be in that title contention spot. And this is going to be a, a big test for her. If she passes it, I'm going to gain a whole new level of respect. But here's the thing, though. I mean, I have noticed maybe some signs of decline from Baszler. So mm -hmm. if that's the case, then Kohea could very well win this fight. It's mm -hmm. kind of a tricky spot. I mean, Baszler hasn't looked the greatest the last couple fights, but I still think that she can get the job done here as a dog. All right, Brad Tastruck, is Kohea a false favorite here? And if, if so, why is that the case? I'm not necessarily sure she is because mm -hmm. you look at Shayna Baszler and she's had so many problems with injuries over the years. She's 34 years old now. Mm -hmm. She hasn't fought in about 20 months by the time this fight goes down uh, in terms of an official fight. Obviously, she was on The Ultimate Fighter. Uh, again, injury problems happened on The Ultimate Fighter. So it's really, really hard to back her at this point. Uh, the one thing that I like when looking at Baszler in this fight is she's obviously the more talented grappler. Mm -hmm. And right now you can get her at line to win by submission at plus 475, which mm -hmm. I think offers the most value of anything uh, on Shayna Baszler. But honestly, I, I think that she's going to struggle to keep up with Kohea, Kohea in this fight. And it's probably going to stay on the feet. Kohea is going to outwork her and probably win another decision because she's... 8-0, and she's gone to decision in seven of those fights. So she doesn't really have a penchant for stopping people. So it sounds like you're you're in a, kind of a disagreement with uh, with Nick's analysis there a little bit. A little bit. Uh, I think that you know he sort of hit the nail on the head at the end when he said that there's been some signs of decline from Baszler, mm -hmm. and I completely agree with that part. And those signs of decline combined with the injuries, combined with the layoff, uh, I think this is a, a good spot to go against Baszler. So if you had to make one bet, then uh, would you take uh, Baszler on that prop or would you take just Kohea to win at minus 140? If I'm betting Kohea, I might as well bet her by decision. Mm -hmm. So I'd take Kohea by decision at plus 140 instead. Nick, are you going to get a lot of action on this fight? Because it sounds like uh, maybe this will be, even though it's not really marquee names, uh, it sounds like there might be decent action here. 
Yeah, the line's competitive. The fight's going to be fairly competitive. And I do agree with Brad in some points. So I think that if it hits the cards, I mean, Kohea could possibly steal the decision. But again, that sub prop that he mentioned, I think on Baszler, it has some value there as well. Um, and he, if you're going to bet uh, Kohea, I could definitely see it by decision because she's probably not going to stop Baszler unless Baszler mm -hmm. is way worse on the decline than we all really think about. So right. I think for a, a women's fight, it's probably going to get more action than we anticipated, which mm -hmm. is a surprise. All right. Well, correct. sounds like we've got some uh, some profitable ways to bet this fight, some profitable possible angles, including a possible hedge. Cohea by decision and Baszler by sub. Thanks, guys.